Well, just to give you a sense of the crowds here, the average wait outside of the gate to get into the park was two hours. Uh, there are tens of thousands of people here today and what's a very important day for Disney. Uh, the CEO of Disney, Bob Iger, was presiding over a dedication ceremony for the grand opening. Uh, many state leaders were present, including the vice premier, Wang Yang. And uh, in his opening remarks, the CEO uh, was really stressing the importance of the relationship between Disney and China. This is what he had to say. Today, Today is a, is a celebration, celebration of creativity, creativity and, and collaboration, collaboration commitment, commitment and, and patience, patience, a triumph, triumph of imagination, imagination and innovation, and, innovation, and a and testament, testament to the strong, strong partnership between, between Disney, Disney and China. China. Together, Together, we have created an extraordinary, extraordinary destination. destination. Here, Here East, East meets West. West the past, the past meets, meets the future, the future and, and anything, anything is, is possible, possible for those, those who, who believe. believe. And the U.S. president as well as the Chinese president both had sent congratulatory letters to Disney for this park. Now, this park has been years in the making, five years of construction, $5.5 billion of investment. And now the, the day has arrived when Disney can say that it's been able to deliver on one of its important strategies, and that is to have this park as a booster rocket for the overall business in China. Uh, the CEO, Bob Iger, had told me earlier that he's hoping that this park will really help to boost the businesses in other parts of uh, the company, such as the movie in, uh, the movie section, as well as uh, the retail side. And uh, it really could pay off, uh, Wilfred, uh, 330 million people, um, according to Disney's own estimates, uh, who, are with, who are in a, a three-hour radius, I should say, of this park by car or by train, can afford to come here on vacation. And so uh, when you look at the numbers and the trends in China, if you believe that China is advancing in terms of its economy and that household spending is uh, becoming a bigger and bigger part of the overall economy, Disney is well poised. Though I will say one thing, well, Fred, uh, one thing that in the way in which they didn't accommodate the Chinese is that selfie sticks are banned. So people cannot use their selfie sticks today. One would on think what, of uh, all places, that's, what, that's where people are going to want to use them the most. Eunice, that's, that's, that seems cruel and unfair, but uh, either way, <laughs> Uh, very exciting opening. Thank you very much for that report. Eunice Yoon for us uh, at Disney China. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.